I finally got serious about three years, but I've been watching my dad ever since I was young, I guess a kid, so three years I got serious into um, doing it myself and helping out. Uh, we're mainly after white fishing. Uh, usually the main run starts uh, end, of end of July, couple of first week in August. The times are changing, you know, the climate change, whatever you could call it. They used to come in a little bit earlier and the herring too is not much herring like they used to be a long time ago, so like 20 years back maybe. Probably got at least maybe 600 uh, fillets and dry fish. Depending on the fishing when they come in, uh, we used to come about 7, 8 in the morning, so nothing got to stay all day, you know, till the uh, sun goes down. It could be 12, 14 hour days or something like that, so. Long days. Uh, mostly we keep them for ourselves, um, yeah. give them to a family and friends and a small portion to help us out. Uh, we sell a few, yeah. So I usually just cut, cut my fish like this and um, this is my way. My father here, as you can see, he taught me the old traditional way, but I find this easier and faster for myself. So. I just cut it like this, cut this off here. Open up here. Pipe hooks are edible, but some of got see uh, the parasites, no good. Oh, oh, just clean the axis, uh, rip the ribs. Give it a quick wash. In the harbor water. Is that for the drying or so it's easier to eat? Uh, it's for the meat so it can dry good and not uh, stuck together. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's how to make dry fish. It's ready to hang. This is how I make fillets here. It's the same way as dry fish, but cut the meat off. And there you have it. Got my fishing, all my fishing skills and everything taught by my father, uh, Wayne Crasher. Okay, so this should be all I have. <laughs> 